Why is it that some days you wake up feeling exhausted, anxious, and on edge before you even make it to the coffee pot? And other days, you wake up like a Disney princess, feeling ready to run a marathon. If we haven't met before, I'm Miriam, a scientist and a nurse, and now I help women realign their lives with their natural rhythm to feel amazing again. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why this happened and how you can bring things into balance to get off the hormonal roller coaster and live every day feeling your best. First, let me tell you why women's hormone today feels so out of balance. Our modern way of living is a perfect environment for hormone chaos. We wake up to screens instead of sunlight. We run on coffee and stress instead of nourishment and rest. We push through fatigue and call it strength, but your body has a way of remembering. When you live disconnected from your natural cues, your stress hormones, the cortisol, takes the lead and estrogen and progesterone lose their rhythm. And then you start experiencing mood swings, fatigue, anxiety, bloating, brain fog, the mystery symptoms that so many women just live with. This indicates that you are out of sync and that you just lost your alignment with how nature designed you to live. I know this will sound familiar to a lot of you. When your hormones are out of rhythm, it can affect every area in your life. You can't concentrate. You rely on caffeine to push through. You have more sugar cravings. You're emotional one moment and numb the next. You start to feel disconnected from who you really are. You snap at everyone on your way. You cry over little things and rage over details. And the list goes on and on and on. These often get mistaken for the problem, but these are actually just the symptoms. Symptoms of the underlying misalignment. They're messages from your body whispering out loud, slow down, listen, and realign. You can reverse this and realign with your natural rhythm. And this is exactly how you can start doing it. To be balanced again, you just need to understand one thing. Your body follows a rhythm. And all you need to do is work on putting it back on track. Let me help you here. Start with these five simple things that you can do on a daily basis. And remember, consistency is key here. You are not going to notice changes from the first time you do it. But over time, you will start seeing a shift in your body, well-being, mood, happiness, and overall health. Number one, get sunlight early. Step outside within an hour of waking up and allow your body to see the light as it's supposed to. This will help signal to your body that you need to shift into an awake state. Over time, this will adjust your cortisol level of wake-up time and readjust your melatonin cycle. Number two, eat balanced meals. You are what you eat. What you eat affects the building blocks of your body, affects your microbiome and your overall health. Include protein, healthy fat, and fiber to stabilize your blood sugar and keep your hormones steady. Track your calorie or more specifically your macros. See how you're doing on a daily basis and adjust the quality and quantity of what you eat. And always lean towards healthier options and whole food. Before we move on, ladies, if you would do me a huge favor, click on the subscribe button down below. It only takes two seconds and it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Number three, rest when your body asks for it. It is simple, but so hard to do. We as women, and I am guilty of it, tend to keep pushing through the fatigue, the exhaustion, the period pains, and the stress as if we were sentenced to live in pain and suffering, especially in your luteal and menstrual phases. Accept that rest is not a weakness, neither an option, but the best gift you can give to yourself and those around you. Because if you don't allow yourself to heal, rest, 
slow down and take a break when you need it, then soon you will realize that you will lose all the battles you are leading because you are not resting and renewing like you should be. Number four, reconnect with nature. Even 10 minutes outside in nature can lower cortisol level effectively. Lift your mood and help your nervous system slow down. Try to go for long walks with your partner or spouse, your kids, your friend, your family, and notice how it affects different areas in your life, including your relationships and health. Walking in nature will help you decompress from your busy days be an active meditation, get inspired. And if you decide to walk with somebody, then it gives you quality time and helps you strengthen your relationship. So it's good for your health, your mind, your relationship, and your hormone. So why not do it every day? And finally, number five, track your cycle. I will never stress enough how important this can be. Tracking your cycle gives you data, and data gives you knowledge, which gives you power over where to start and how to start. It tells you what your story is, it gives you insights, and helps you trace what is normal for you. It helps you understand your personal body rhythm. It helps you notice when you feel most energized, social, creative, or reflective, which allows you to anticipate and start planning your life with those natural phases and not against them. When you return to your natural rhythm, you find yourself again, or even better, you get to meet your best version. Your hormone variation are the most powerful communication system that exists between your body and your life. And when you start listening to them instead of fighting them, you will notice a real change. You will feel clear, you will feel calm, strong, and you will feel like you again. Reflect on this and introduce these small changes that can have a tremendous impact on the quality of your life. If you got value out of this video and want even more info on how to start feeling better now, check the link below. Until next time, keep following your rhythm.